Hi, welcome today. What we're going to discuss in this video is uh, the differences between different rotor designs. So what we see here is our four different rotors that we're going to talk about. Now these are NEMA rotor designs. So NEMA specifications, they design motor rotors for three phase squirrel cage induction motors based off these kind of four general uh, designs. Now they all have different attributes and they're built a little bit of a different way. And we're just going to cover the basics between the four of them today. So now these are called NEMA A, NEMA B, NEMA C, and NEMA D. So let's jump right in and let's start with NEMA A and talk about how it's built. So a NEMA rotor design A. So again, this is just a cross section of our rotor within our motor. The rotor bars are large and they are placed close to the surface, kind of like that. So with NEMA rotor bars close to the surface and large like that, what we get is we get a really low resistance, low resistance because they're so big, lots of area for that current to travel, and we get a low inductance. There's not a ton of area around them to induce or for inductance, right? So the permeability and the area around that core is low. Um, it, it gives us a very high efficiency design, super efficient, not a lot of losses but we see a really high inrush current, which is the downfall, right? So that's kind of that rotor design. Um, now what we see, now let's talk about uh, some attributes of that rotor. So again, like we said, very efficient, super high inrush current. In fact, our inrush current, so our I, again at start, oops, is about 600% of our full load current. So we have a really, really high inrush current. What we also get is our torque at start. So our torque at start is about 150% of our full load torque. Now our peak torque or the breakdown torque is what we like to call it. Peak torque, breakdown torque is actually about uh, 200% of the full load torque and it usually occurs at about 25% slip. So that's a rotor design A. Now the next one I want to talk about is a NEMA rotor design B. Now this rotor design B is our most common rotor. Um, so what we kind of see is it's pretty efficient. It's our most common. We see those large bars, but we see them inset from the edge a little bit. So it looks something like that. So now what this does is we still have that really low resistance of the large rotor bar, but what we see now is we see a higher inductance. So we get a little bit more losses because of that, but because of that, because of that higher inductance, we actually see a little bit lower of an inrush current, which is what makes this the most popular rotor. It's gonna have the same torque values as our A, but we get a little bit lower inrush. So our I at start or our inrush current is only 500%. But like I said, we're still gonna see at start, we're still gonna see that 150% of our rated torque and our breakdown torque or the peak amount of torque that this motor can deliver, breakdown, is still 200%. So two very, very similar motors. Uh, the only real difference is that A, is gonna be just a little bit more efficient than a B, and B just has a little bit less inrush current. So really depending on your application is gonna depend which motor you choose. Now we get into rotor C and rotor D. They're a little bit more specialized. Um, these would just be general use, frequent start, uh, regular loads. Now with a C, what we get with a NEMA rotor C is there's actually two sets of rotor bars. There's an outer set, which is small rotor bars close to the surface. Then there's an inner set, which is bigger and a little bit further in, kind of like that. Now they're typically are connected with the rings, the end rings at the end of the rotor. So typically they're electrically the same. Sometimes they're not. Now what this does, our outer bars have a high resistance and a low inductance. That gives us a really good inrush 
uh, or a starting torque. So we get a really, really high starting torque value. So that's at start, the current's gonna run towards the outside. As it starts to run and ramp down, then it, the current's gonna start to run on the inside, inner rotor bars, where we have a high resistance and a lower inductance, which gives it a really, really efficient run. Um, some problems with this though, uh, again, it's very efficient and we get a very high starting torque. The problem is, is this motor rotor cannot dissipate heat very well. So it's not good for frequent starting or high inertia loads because it gets really, really hot, which we know is bad. Uh, so what we kind of see here is our I at start is still that 500%. Our torque at start is about 225%. And that 225% is also our breakdown torque. So we experience the highest level of torque at start. So this motor is, it can start those high inertial loads, but not frequently, again, because it's not gonna dissipate that heat. That brings us to our fourth NEMA rotor design. Now our fourth NEMA rotor design is the D. Uh, the way the D works is I have a bunch of bars, small rotor bars, close to the surface. So with the small rotor bars placed close to the surface, we see a high inductance, nope, sorry, a high resistance and a low inductance. So what that gives us is that gives us a really, really high starting torque. Um, but it's gonna give us that really poor efficiency. So with this motor, again, we have that really high starting torque and you can start it frequently, it doesn't get too hot, but it is a very inefficient rotor. So when it's running, it has quite a few losses and we also see very, very poor speed regulation, which I have a video on speed regulation you can check out as well, but we see poor speed regulation from this motor. So from no load to full load, it's a big change in speed which cannot be good for some applications. Uh, so with this, what we see is our current at start is equal to about 400%. So we have a really low starting current, which makes it desirable. Uh, and we see a torque at start and it's our highest one at 275%. So we get a really, really high starting torque and at start is when we see that breakdown torque. So that's when we actually see the peak amount of torque produced is at start. So I really hope you liked this video. Just a super quick overview of the four NEMA rotor designs. Uh, I do hope it helped. And again, these are just the different designs based on the different rotor bar configurations that we see in standard rotors. And that A, B, C, or D is going to typically going to be stamped right on that motor nameplate, so we'll know. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, check out below. I've got a whole playlist of other motor videos. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Have the best day.